Welcome back to Comic Book Theater. Jay here with another review. Today I am proud to review Like Father, Like Daughter number one. It is written by Cat Comic Uno. Art is by Wayne A. Brown. And the colors are by David Aravina. Um, to preface this a little, Cat asks for a completely impartial and honest review. So that is what I'm going to give now. With that said, this issue is about Casey Ryder. Your typical American teenage girl today. She goes to school, hangs out with friends, watches movies, and shops. But what no one knows is that she is the daughter of Invulnerable, the only superhero in the world that everyone loves and admires but her because he left her and her mom when she was a little girl. If seeing him being worshipped every day by everyone, including her boyfriend, wasn't bad enough, now she discovers that she is more like him than she ever thought possible. Um, the story was really great. Casey um, is trying to cope almost her whole life by avoiding the one thing that hurts her the most, her dad, who is the world's only superhero and vulnerable that everyone seems to like love and worship. Guys want to be him, girls want to be with him. Kat does a really good job here showing um, us Casey's emotional journey in this issue, I think. Sure, she hates her dad, and you know, because he left her. But everyone wonders where they came from. Who am I? Is one of the um, longest and most ongoing questions that we have as a person. Although the daily life approach to this issue it keeps it grounded, but at the same time, this is an unapologetic superhero comic book that uses you know pop culture and superhero comic books as references. So. When Casey discovers she is more like her dad than she ever wanted to be, um, it felt like a modern retelling of Amazing Fantasy number 15. But at the same time, as a Superman fan, I see a bit of him in this um, origin, like a bit of his journey in here, and even a little bit of Supergirl's journey here. So this origin, um, which I think is really his greatest strength, is that... Cat has found a way to bridge that gap where this is totally an original story, but at the same time, it invokes those elements of all of our favorite superheroes into one story without feeling cluttered or forced. The one thing I would have wanted, though, in this story was more of, more of invulnerable, perhaps in a flashback or something. So I give the story four and three quarter stars. The art is really good here. I like that... Um, Every teen feels unique and identifiable. I can see them all in a crowded hallway of the school and say, okay, that is Casey, that is Stephanie, that is Casey's boyfriend, Jess, you know, etc., etc. The only thing I found lacking in the art is the lack of um, background details at times. I am that type of a fan that um, loves the detail in the art. And especially like if I'm drawn to the background and all that, I get the whole, like I feel like I'm a part of it. And at times I felt like the background here is missing details, but then it makes up for that with little fun um, like Easter eggs things. Like when we see the school mascot on the wall, it's a dolphin in a sailor cap and sporting Popeye type forearms. So, I mean, even including the little anchor tattoo. So Popeye the Dolphin was a great touch that made me smile. The arc is four stars. Overall, I really did enjoy this issue. And the ending was great. Because throughout the story, you really sit and think of, wow, Invulnerable's a real douche. Then Cat flips it on you. And we see Invulnerable being very, well, vulnerable here. And he's writing his daughter this letter, one of many that he has um, kept over the years in a filing cabinet. And you feel for him. He closed himself off to the world to protect it, but at what price? So with four and um, three quarter stars for the story and four stars for the art, I give this an overall of four and a half stars and I recommend you picking it up. Well, those are my thoughts. 
Now I want to know yours in the comments below. Also, like this video, subscribe to the Comic Book Theater, check out and subscribe to Comic Frontline on YouTube, check out ComicFrontline.com, the site, for all the latest previews, reviews, news, and interviews, along with unique features that is updated daily. For more on all things related to comics, check out ComicRelated.com, a great source that is also updated daily. And don't forget to like and follow me, the Comic Book Theater, and Comic Frontline on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. I'll include all these links in the description below. Until then, I'll catch you in the next review.